I know some of the uh, uh, engineering colleges in Bangalore. Yeah, they have eight uh, hundred seats. Yeah, AIML. Okay, let's. I I don't want to name the college. <laughs> but, uh, they have eight hundred seats. I don't know what. Uh, 800 people coming out of uh, uh, a badge like how I don't know where they'll get placed or what they'll be doing Forces. in um, <laughs> <laughs> placement guys are like cattle sub court life karna like <laughs> I, I, I mean like honestly uh, I, I, I mean only they only get placed to their work like 80 hours a week no 70 like, hours have you have you <laughs> Uh, come across the syllabus by any chance EIML so okay I have uh, I mean so generally this is my general uh, uh, most okay let's just take YouTube because I have come across some syllabus in um, scam AI courses let's just take YouTube you know you see these thumbnails of uh, learn AI in 5 minutes or there'll be someone you know the mouth opener like that uh-huh. you know pointing at something like AI and it, scam Full scam. Like, uh. oh, what? They, they, see, they, this is basically people are monetizing on the train. Nothing. They, they just, you know, say some run of the mill stuff and people are going to subscribe to it. And everyone's going to have run of the mill knowledge, which is fair. Okay. And this is the way people monetize. But it's too much. Like, right now, I feel like everyone's doing AI, everyone's speaking about AI, everyone's AI engineer. Like, for instance, LinkedIn, right? I came across this profile the other day. Um, you know, he was, I, I, I was just thinking about SOT process. Uh, he's like, oh, let me see what the hype terms are. AI, okay, okay. And then quantum technology. Oh, okay, okay. I saw, I saw his bio. It said quantum AI. I'm like, wait, do you know quantum technology and AI? Or do you know very little AI? <laughs> <laughs> what, what are you trying to do? I'm like, peep, oh my God. Like all of, all across LinkedIn is just like AI researcher, uh-huh. AI expert. Oh, oh and just throwing terminology around. It's, it's, it's really frustrating. I, I don't know why I get frustrated by it, but just just people throwing this terminal, terminal deal around has just been <laughs> frustrating. And I don't do anything about it. I just probably speak about it in podcasts. <laughs> but <laughs> I, it's, 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 it's people are just throwing terms. Like, yeah, everyone, like, um, you know, there'll be, you know, data scientists and, you know, they'll, they'll give their own sort of taglines to them. Mm-hmm. I, people, you know, it's, it's honestly in the professional world, people are deciding their own last names. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's happening. <laughs> You have any funny AI stories? Uh, funny? Something to do with self-driving or like... Yeah, I mean, self-driving... Uh, uh, again, this wasn't uh, the company that I work for, but uh, SF. SF is a zoo. In zoo in the sense like you see all kinds of humans. Okay, you see people, um, you know, well-dressed, they're doing their jobs... Uh, and then you see people who are drugged up and just gone, man, you know, they're just maniacs. They're just doing all kinds of random shit. As a thought person observer, I find it quite entertaining. As long as I don't interact there, I don't get shot, I'm mm. good. I'm just going to eat my ice cream and look from the corner. Mm. So once what happened, I was uh, literally just eating ice cream. <laughs> and um, so there's this car that pulls up um, at the traffic light. This um, uh, homeless guy. And he's completely gone. Mm. I don't know what he's on, but he's definitely on some, uh, some, some uh, cocktail of stuff. And he's like, he just stops in front of the car. Now people there, have, I know how an autonomous car looks. Because it's very evident. Like, it has like a bunch of sensors sticking out. It's not very mm. subtle. This guy stands in front of it. He's like, go around me. Go around me. Mm. And human drivers. Obviously, saw this guy's an idiot. They just go, go around him. Mm. They just made the mm. decision. This guy didn't know what to do. Mm. When, when are you going to, when, when, who's sitting, who's which programmer is sitting and is going to like, oh, what if some dumb dude comes and tells me to go around him? <laughs> that's that's an edge case which yeah. they might have thought of they're like how often is that going to happen mm. Mm. But also the other angle is if you, this scenario happens where there's some uh, in unpredictable human mm. the safest decision might be the most boring the safest decision is to do nothing which is what I, what the car did he just stood there this guy knew and he's done it I think for 15 minutes it's just comical he's just standing there you go around and then when the human level goes up hey they went no you go around I'm like, bro, you're speaking to a computer. What are you saying? You go around it. You know, like, what? So the interaction of humans with AI, uh-huh. it's going to be hilarious. And, uh, you know, they've, they've, I've seen, you know, some, uh, is, you know, some, you know, AI can only, it's only as good as data. So uh, uh, someone prompts the image generator to say, mm-hmm. give me a photo of an American mm-hmm. baby. It just gives you a photo of a baby. Uh, and it's white. So there's some bias involved there. And then it says, no, make it more American. 
and then gives a photo of a baby with a flag behind it. No, no, make it more American. Then gives a photo of a baby that's eating a burger, a burger, it's little <laughs> obese, and an American flag behind it. So as it can make it more, make it more American. The final image is a baby holding a gun, and it's like full American flags around it. So these kind of things, you know, you can play around with it, gen- generate all kinds of nonsense, and the bias which is in the system kind of comes out. Yeah. Ah, uh, in these uh, applications. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, I honestly haven't played a lot with ChatGPT. Because uh, I have like real friends to talk to, <laughs> but maybe someday I might. I might like, hey, to con it, to kya hai? But I haven't played too much. I've only used it as a like, tool. Does it answer such stuff? Uh, what are you? So that's actually a very good. Um, I mean, so back in the day, I'm not saying like even like hmm. maybe, you know Alan Turing, right? Hmm. Um, the the Apple. Hmm. Uh, so there was something called the Turing test. The Turing test is basically uh, that times test of artificial general intelligence i might be wrong with the general intelligence part but the how to test if an ai is good or not mm. so imagine there's a person who's talking to the ai through any medium mm. and on one end there's a person and one end there's a computer or an ai mm. and during that conversation the human is unable to distinguish which is ai and which is human mm. that basically is a good or it passes the turing test okay back then passing the turing test was like the sort of uh, You know the 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 uh, the holy grail of AI. Mm-hmm. I, AI probably wasn't even that big a term, but then that was the test that was uh, this thing. So I I always wonder if ChatGPT does a good job at that. Uh, and I and I feel like uh, one thing that they've coded into the system hmm. is if you ask it, have you um, you know are you a computer? It says yes. Hmm. So just purely by that, you can figure out it's a computer. Okay. So it fails the Turing test. So that's some weird you know. Software engineers sitting and playing around stuff, <laughs> but some interesting things are that uh, that with ChatGPT. But I haven't experimented as much. Any yeah conspiracy theories? Oh, uh, I mean honestly, I I'm the last person to ask. I am so biased towards anything that says biased against any article that says AI. I don't know. It's just become a personality trait of me. If you say AI, I'm like yeah, I get lost. I don't want to <laughs> which is which is a good thing. In most say uh, most scenarios, but it's bad when there's actually some information there. So personally, I don't subscribe to much hmm. of this conspiracy theory. So the great Instagram m- machine learning algorithm that's been tuned to me doesn't even show it to me. Things like you know Sam Altman left because AGI has come hmm. into the picture. That's a conspiracy theory as far hmm. as I can hmm. say. Hmm. But uh, other stuff like um, you know I have a theory on like how conspiracy theories are born. So you have authority bias. So essentially, you say. uh someone who's a really good actor okay and they're on a podcast now this guy let's say i don't know who some some you know, interviewer was going to say what do you think about ai and then this actor who has no sort of expertise on ai because he's a great actor because he has authority he'll say that oh yeah we have to be careful dangerous danger so <laughs> and that that becomes the gold standard of news like oh yeah shahrukh khan said ai is dangerous uh, and then everyone starts Shadukhan. believing it mm. why do you believe shahrukh khan on ai He's a great actor, so I feel that is the root of all conspiracy theories. Obviously, there's people who want to add conspiracy theories; those people are there. But the bigger root is people who have no sort of knowledge on this coming and telling us what can happen. So, so because of that, I unsubscribe. Like I'm like, yeah, hey, no, I don't want. Like, sorry. <laughs> and mm-hmm. honestly, because of that, the bad thing that happened was, I was probably a couple of weeks late into ChatGPT. Okay. Uh, because everyone was hyping this up and. I mean, people have been hyping stuff for seven years, mm-hmm. so I'm so biased to say like this is also another piece mm-hmm. of that. Mm-hmm. But I was wrong, so obviously I'm being very honest here mm-hmm. to saying this is not the right way to do it, do it. But I get visibly frustrated mm-hmm. when people throw around terminology, so I just be like, okay, uh, okay, we'll have another talk maybe after six months once uh, we are very close to AGI. Yeah. What do you say? Six months on Jupiter maybe. <laughs> How far will it? Six months close to back home. I don't know. I. Again, if I subscribe to any of this, you know, conspiracy theories and have a better idea, I G I ugly. No, let's see. <laughs> no, no, but uh, I don't know. It's uh, like it's. I feel it's more. I am. I don't subscribe to fiction a lot. Okay. Uh, I just. I just don't like like it as much as I like uh, being a little more realistic. Mm-hmm. If I was, you know, on that end, and many people are, they would, they would like thinking about the future. Like Elon is right. Like Elon Musk is. What is your opinion on Elon Musk? Yeah, uh, Elon. You I like I, that guy. 
No, I like him. I like him as a guy. I think he's really cool. I think he's doing some good work. But again, I feel he's also one of those people behind, you know, conspiracy. Um, I mean, he is definitely working closer to these systems, but, and that's probably. But he he's he's great at marketing, right? He's going to come and say stuff, and then people are going to subscribe to it because everyone's a fan of him. There, it's it's almost a cult uh, mm-hmm. cult following. Mm-hmm. So that part I don't like about him, like the fact that he just like uh, you know comes and promises stuff, like self driving in specific, like their car, um, you know, it's, it's being shipped as fully self driving, but you know it's not that safe. But they're selling it as super safe. And they also add this line at the bottom saying that, hey, you're still in uh, responsible for the car. So a world where a car is fully self-driving, or supposed to be fully self-driving, mm-hmm. our drivers get very complacent. We're like, hey, nothing's going to happen. So many days, nothing's happened. Why is that happening? But when it happens, we are never ready. So a world where the human still needs to keep an eye on the car is not practical. It's dangerous. Okay. So in that, and then, you know, just Elon being Elon, mm-hmm. you know, just... Uh, Futuristic stuff, like, like for instance, the Cybertruck, super cool looking. Mm-hmm. I don't know, like I. I don't know the the you you're talking about the car where he throws something and the window. Yeah, it's it's so right? it's 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 being sold in the Bay Area uh, as of yesterday, I think that they released it. Okay. So uh, I mean in America, so um, okay. it's, was it's, that it's, test redone and yeah, yeah, it was redone. Passed. It was redone. So Elon's great at selling stuff. So so the 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 one of the tests that they did with the cyber truck was I don't know why it's even relevant he raced with the Porsche mm. okay and he won mm. to show that the thing is so fast he was towing a Porsche while he raced a Porsche <laughs> which um, I mean thinking about it like wow what a mm. what's so impressive mm. is it a selling point not for me mm. if I want to buy a pickup truck it's for different reasons I'm not going to drag race it but he kind of he uses all this sort of a lot of theatricality yeah yeah thing. yeah which is which is that, probably that that is uh, for him to stay in the news. Yeah, most of it definitely, and it's great. I mean, made a lot of money out of it. Yeah, so that way I don't really. I'm not a big fan of him. Anyway, thank you, Sid. Thanks, Thank you. <laughs>